already know with the boss lady. The boss right? Lady. We do it on our segment. We're all set. Where we say what we not feeling, what we not jacking, what we want done with, what we want packed up. Boss lady April, what do you want? What are you all set on? What do you want packed up? What do you want out of you here? over? What are you over? <laughs> oh, I'm all over. What am I all over? I'm all over these these all these ladies acting like hoes. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, why right to that? That's been a theme tonight. People Yo, been complaining about the black woman delegation. Women. No, wait, wait, because I'm all, because I'm all, because I'm all on respect. I'm all yes. on, like, respect fly, the sexy. The whole, the whole aesthetic being because, pushed to the front. Yeah, they need to care. To Look front. at how you see how boss lady carries herself. That's yeah. how y'all need to be carrying yourself. I real. mean, it's out, you know, I don't know I'm the, the, the prime be, example, but. You can be fly without being horrible. That's all we saying. You can be dope without and being I, And I love my ladies. Like, this is not like a, you know, this is not like a cast down here and going to hell. This is so not that, right? This just like come up love come yeah. up if we want more we got to like be more I like but that. at the same time you know we can't be pushing it to the front and then men can't be like always supporting that or that's what they like all about yeah, yeah. so yeah. that's all i'm saying we, oh, yeah 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 we so got to tell off that we got to tell the hoes we not feeling your wholeness right now like yo <laughs> talk to him yo my name is michael blue williams manager extraordinaire what i'm oh, really you, really heavy yeah yeah i'm big you i'm heavy. really He's big but i don't wear but I, yeah you i've heavy. done some things but what I'm off of, I'm so off of. Blacks for Trump. I'm so tired <laughs> of these niggas that be behind this nigga every time he's on TV. That same wavy haired nigga that they travel around. Maga. All these yo. blacks for Trump ass niggas. I'm over you. If I hear one more person talk about, yo, we was getting money when Trump was in. No, they gave you $1,500 and he took it back in gas and six months later. Damn. Yo, I'm yo. off of that. Blacks for Trumps, eat a yo. dick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. So on. these fake ass poly niggas, I'm all set oh, on shit. you. <laughs> real yeah. shit. He just horny. Oh, you don't believe in the movement? Huh? Huh? He just horny. No, don't in the movement for real? no, everybody ain't poly. Okay, <laughs> if you want to have more than one bitch, then just do that. Be ethically non-monogamous, my nigga. But we ain't all poly. You ain't that spiritual, homie. I, that's what I'm trying to say. What you mean? I ain't part of the community, my nigga. Like. <laughs> Oh, Thank you, cause everybody poly. You ain't on no high frequency, nigga. You nah. just horny. You just horny, my nigga. Oh, you trying to clap a lot of cheeks. Oh bro. God, and I respect that more than you trying to make me part of the community. You feel me? Like it's all good. Don't send your girlfriend over here. I ain't no unicorn, bro. Like there we go. Yo, you. you. <laughs> Give him a couple more, man. We live, man. We here. Let's do it. Fuck you mean, man. Talk to us nice. We're in the building, man. Episode 141, Will Set Podcast. Your boy Rich is here. Yeah, I'm man. with your boy. Yes, yes. Free is here. This is a very special episode, Free. We at we right here at Rev Ho House, Revolutionized Hollywood. This is a special, special joint. This is the inaugurational, you know what I mean, members. Members event. only live. We event. go live event. You know what I'm saying? We the first influencers. You know what I'm saying? At Rev Ho House. Make sure you remember that. You got yeah. applause us. Hold up. Applause us, yeah, B. Ahead, what fucking talking Give about? Give us a little applause. First influencer. We're the first ones. We yeah, tapped in. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we, we basically, this, this, we, the, we, the, we the, what's it, how they call it? The home podcast? We the main podcast in this joint. We the yeah. big doors of the building. Yeah, you, Hello. you see, we added, you see the says a little different today. It's a little yeah. sophisticated. We drinking champagne and shit. We doing some doing things we like to do. B, you know what I mean? So we still got our flavor. Shout out to Andre. Okay. <laughs> He's still here with us. You feel me? We're all set in the background. But yeah, man, it's it's a big deal. Revolutionize Hollywood. If you don't know, if you ever heard of Soho House New York, it's like a private members only situation where you can come, professionals come, creators, you network, you take use of the facilities, things of that nature. You meet people, you just build, you create. Trying to establish here today with World Set and Revo. Like Rich said, it's a live event. So, you know, we're giving y'all the podcast energy, but we're going to have some more tidbits and some more information, some more scenes for y'all in the next, you know, 20, 30 minutes. Look out for that. We're going to interview some people, let y'all know the flavor of what's going on out here. But, you know, we happy to be here. Facts free. And it's like, when, you know, like we've been on this shit, we've been on the road a long time. We've been doing this like five years, right? Five if years. we had a place like this when we first started, the road would have been a lot easier. Yes. You feel me? Like yes. we, it took us a long time. This is even have a place where you know you can go. Every, you go on every single trip to record, and everything is everything, and there's other like-minded people around. People you could throw ideas off and build with, and blah blah blah. 
we would have been ten times farther if a place like this existed when we when we when we first started. Nah, absolutely. That's why. Listen, anybody out here, black, white, Spanish, if you creator, if you in that space, or you just trying to build your brand, whatever it is, whatever you doing, revolutionize Hollywood. This this is the place to do it. Obviously, we just in one one of the rooms. There's rooms for everything. You know everything, what I'm saying? B. If I ain't gonna lie. You want a fashion? You can get into that. Any type of TV show, any type of entertainment, like all the resources here, computers, shit even got a smoke room. So again, True we indeed. encourage, we employ y'all. You know, we, we had to test that joint out. Yeah, hello. <laughs> <laughs> we had to test it out. But like I said, we employ y'all to, you know, do your own research, do your due diligence, but tap the fuck in. Yeah, man, a place where you can consistently do your work and just consistently get right. Because in, in the game that we in, it's all about consistency, bro. You gonna stay down and you gonna go hard. I was I was with I was with my homegirl the other day and she was like how she had wanted to start a podcast, but she felt like it was so saturated and blah 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 blah. I said, look, man, niggas die every day, man. Yes, a they new, do. A new somebody that was so, one of these niggas that you think is you think is saturated, these niggas give up every single every day. Every day, you know what I'm saying? Like it's all about going harder for longer. Who got it in them? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I, listen, since we started, I, I, I know about four or five people personally who started podcasts. They shit done fell to the wayside. Keep it all. There's people that we know personally that started podcasts because they because we did. Yeah. Yeah. Where they at? Nowhere. Nowhere. They they trying to holler at us like, yo, they trying to collab. And we ain't knocking on, nobody. B. But like you said, the consistency is the main thing that we want to promote. And that yeah. we pushing and that they talking about here at Revo, you know what I'm saying? That's the main message, the main theme. So we just want to keep that going. And like Rich said, take advantage of this space. If this, this is something you want to get involved with, if this is like, if you're a creator, you just need the necessary resources, you might not have it, or you might not know somebody, come to Revolutionize Hollywood. Facts. Get your networking on. It's important to be around tuned. people that serious. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? It's important. Like, even like I right, when we when we started this, one reason why I felt like, yo, I know I could do this for free, cause I know I I know we how long we know each other free? About 20 years? About 20. We won on year 20, basically. We might as well just say it though. Yeah. So I know, I know for a fact. I seen how he hand, how he is about shit that he care about and money and things like things of that nature. I know he got a work ethic. I know he gonna be consistent. I know he go hard. Like you gotta see that, you know what I'm saying? Like it's certain aspects and people that make it, make it the whole situation make sense. You know what I'm saying? Nah, and when man. you come in, when you come in, and when you enter a space where you know everybody here is paying to be here, they focus on their craft, they about what they do. It just helps. You just gonna go farther around like minded yeah. people that's about that focus. You know what I'm saying? That's productive just how that should work. People, productive people, creative people. Oh God! People, you know what I'm saying? Niggas got bills to pay. Niggas ain't playing around. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? People that's on that type of time. And like, you heard what we announced at every episode at the beginning. We on episode 141. You know what I mean? And y'all still here with us and we still consistent. We on top of that. We done had our roller coaster ride ups and downs, but for the most part, we've been here. We oh ain't God. missing nothing. And this shit really told death do us. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> for real. You know what I mean? This shit go pop. You know what I mean? It said Super never pop. go against the families. Huh? Never, never, man. So, but Yo, then we gotta get into you know the other day we went to that um that creator summit. Oh, shout out to that. Shout, shout out to that. that. You know what I'm saying? Unlocked a lot of good four information four. got passed off. Yeah, shout out to what's it called? Unlock four four. Unlock four four. Facts. A lot of good speakers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know I mean people from Generation Now. Drama pulled up. Talking yeah. about this come up. The highlight for me was Rich Paul. You know what I mean? Of course. I mean that's why. I, I, that's why I went. You know what I'm saying? Like at the <laughs> end of the day. <laughs> Bro, I ain't mean to cut you off, because bro was telling me, bro had been telling me about this event for the last few weeks, and I hadn't really checked in, but he always checked in like every two days, like, yo, did you get your tickets? Did you get your tickets? I'm like, all right, this shit must be the really a big deal. It's something we got to be, you know what I mean? Be a part of or just be in the building for. And it was worth it, you know what I mean? Like, just the knowledge that and the inspiration from seeing Rich Paul and him talking about his come up was just enough for me. It was worth every penny. Yeah, you know I, mean, I mean, personally, because like, to be real, like, it's my favorite niggas is Steve Stout, Rich Paul, and Jay Z. It's my favorite niggas. You feel me? <laughs> and it's like to like I I seen Rich Paul like I used to be in Cleveland. Be like I know I know the real like I know niggas that know this. I know the real Rich Paul before like he been on like on a different. You know what I mean? But like to see the growth, to see the come up, to see the, and, and to do it in a space where it's like you would never believe that niggas is capable of doing this. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and he gets slighted still to this day. The, the, the powers that be still be slighting him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The man, what do you say? He did four, 400 million nah, this 900, summer? 900, 900, 900 don't million short million don't contract, short it worth a contract negotiated just this summer? And like, the people what? that slight him is corny. Like, 
You know what I'm saying? Black people, like, when anybody want to try to practice any form of nepotism or, you know what I'm saying, get put on by our friends, it's like, oh, but somebody helped them get there. Like, like he said, and when we went to the event, when the Bezos or the Trumps or the Apples, you know what I'm saying, any of these rich white people who got these companies, nobody talks about, like, when they friends put them in a situation, like, they didn't, you don't hear about that. It's just, oh, they got the company. Yeah, you know what I mean? exactly. But that's why he promote. Like, if you ever watch football, the yak, yeah. LeBron gave him the opportunity. He passed him the ball, but the yards after the catch, you still got to score the touchdown. And that's what Rich did. And that's what, you know, you got to appreciate and respect that. Facts. The man is a beast, B. The man is a beast. And like, I ain't going to lie. The biggest takeaway out of everything he said, the biggest takeaway, I ain't going to lie, when he was like, yo, how you do one thing is how you do everything. You know what I'm saying? If the how you order, how you order your meal at dinner is how you going to go out and, and tackle the, the biggest things in your life. Like everything matters. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you, you, you are based on who you become off like the repetition of everything that you do. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you laissez-faire with small things, you're gonna be laissez-faire with big things. You can't just turn it on. You don't right. just wake up one day and be a, and, and pay mass attention to detail and be a hell of a nigga and be a go-getter. It just doesn't, you don't just, you can't turn it on and off. You're gonna be that way about all things or you're gonna be that way about nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, real shit. Like, like you said, like just developing a routine and it's small habits. You know yeah. what I mean? Like making your bed in the morning, shit yeah. like that. Like, you know, just recipes for success and, you know, how just being around successful people and just try to pick up on the small details and the things that they do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Those really be the things that separate the millionaires and the billionaires for the commoners. Exactly. That just is what it is. I always been a fan. Like, I, me personally, like, I just really love hearing people's story. Like, if you, any anybody that, that got, that made an M, I'm all ears. If you made an M, I'm listening to you. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm all ears. I'm respecting it. Right got away. You. So if you made over M, I'm all ears, and I love an autobiography. I love, I love to hear your journey, how a nigga made, how how did you make sense of it all, and how did you make it shake? You feel me? Cause that like that's all we doing out here. Like, like niggas, some niggas figure it out. You unlock the whole shit. Like you gotta make sense of it all. Nah, you know what I'm saying like it just happens. Like and it don't just happen by accident. Like it's a it's a formula to this shit. Like whether you know it or not. You know what I mean? Nah, shout to shout to the autobiography. Shout to Lucky Me. That's the title, I believe. Word. You know what I'm saying by Rich Paul. But it was just inspired me. He had that good blue ceramic AP on. Oh my God. <laughs> Can we talk about the AP? Yeah, let's get into it. Can we it. talk about the AP? I, I like, like seeing the shallow shit. Like, what, I like seeing what niggas do with AP. I don't care bread, what man. nobody say. I'm ignorant like that. Yeah, man. I'm into the ignorant shit. I'm like, into the shiny things. Man. The princess cut chains was valid, but the, just but, that blue but the ceramic blue joint was ceramic crazy. skeleton was crazy. crazy what? I'm sitting there and I'm looking. He keep lifting his hand up. I'm looking, I tap the nigga, feel like, yo, you see that blue ball? Like, and, that, and then, like, you see that joint? When you at the event, they got the big screen on showing the people talking. So, like, the blue was just reflected crazy off the screen. Oh, like, nuts. I gotta, I, listen, we, we give credit where credit is due over here. We never hate, man. We congratulate. So, that, yeah, man. I like seeing that. You know I love I mean? to see it, man. I like seeing niggas shine. I like seeing niggas looking good. You know what I mean? So, Rich Paul, he doing his thing. He one of the best out there. Yeah, you know what man. I'm saying? What did they say? Time most influential last couple of years. So, Shout out to Rich Paul, man. That was it was a good talk. And again, like Rev Hall, like me and Rich have been promoting and preaching to y'all. It's events like that, spaces like this, that you gotta be a part of. Even, you know, just be in a room, just soaking up that energy. You know what I mean? Soaking up them gyms, soaking up that game. Whether you need one person or no person, I mean, it's better than nothing. You know what I mean? Like you went there and I felt like I learned something. I felt like I I gotta took my shit up in tenth gear. You know what I mean? Like True I gotta indeed. go a thousand times harder. I ain't doing enough. You know what I mean? And me just getting that feeling was enough, was enough for me. If I didn't get nothing else, it was just, you know, like, yo, free, you got to do harder. We got to go harder. Mm -hmm. And that's why we here. Rev Ho, man, we here, live event. We, we going to get this shit crazy. Man. And, it's, and it's crazy how, like, I, I always, I'm coming across the same lesson every single time. Every time you talk, every time you go talk to somebody that's already made it or anything like that, it's always a time situation. It's like, yo, you got to go in over, over a certain amount of time consistently. You know what I'm saying? Like, time is really the factor that defines all things, B. Like, it'd be crazy. Like, you could be, this nigga right here could do something 10 times better than you, but if he only did it for six months, you know what I'm saying? It don't matter. Yeah. It, it eventually, it don't matter no more. Like, you know what I'm saying? Tom, Tom changed, Tom, the cream rides to the top, bro. Like, over time, it just always be the, be the case, bro. Mm -hmm. When a nigga on his shit and it's, Rolling consistent. The nigga Rich Paul is bigger than ever, right there, right now in this moment. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes. Tom shows, Tom reveals everything, bro. Tom is everything, bro. That should be crazy, man. For real, for real. Yeah, man. 
Let's jump into the. Let's jump into the. Let's jump into the. <laughs> so episode, why they know man. us, man? Let, let's get into the shit like, that we know for, man. Because it's a lot. Cause to this talk is ridiculous, about. B. Like, yeah, I mean, we down here in the A. You already know the vibes, home uh-huh. of the creators. Yeah. What is going on with your girl Jada Pinkett Shakur? She's from Jersey for she, your block. She's <laughs> not from Jersey. She you gotta know, be. I don't know where Baltimore she's from. Baltimore's close enough, man. <laughs> Philly, Jersey, Baltimore, DC. Nah, man. bro. Jada Pinkett Shakur is wildin'. Yet again, this he's is out of best. pocket. I ain't gonna lie. Between this and Offset, little promo run, they neck and neck. This is probably some of the best promo I've seen in a while. Like you said, you know that they say in show business, oh, there's no such thing as bad promotion. Does she need the money that bad? Does the book that important to sell the book? Uh, clearly. I mean, I'm not, I feel like I don't even want to watch, read the book because she done told me everything I needed to know. But. I never was going to read the book. Yeah, I wasn't going to read it anyway. Never. <laughs> I, I'm really disgusted. I don't condone her 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 whole situation. She's evil. Where should we start? I'll start. Let's start with this one. <laughs> Let's start with we this. Start? We're just going to start with statements. Yeah, let's just shoot the throw them out start. there. Jada Pinkett said, me and Will have been separated for six years. We have not been- 2016. Since 2016, seven years. Let me not show Seven shorter. bangers. They haven't been in a regular marriage. Say he slapped Chris Brock. He, you was, for no you reason. You didn't know what was going on. You couldn't believe he called you, you couldn't believe his he wife. called his wife. Wow. What? Are we going? Yo, the man flushed his whole career down the toilet for two years, bro. Easily. Behind, behind her head, behind her alopecia. Yes. And this, and she got the nerve to be like, oh, I, I can't I believe, can't believe this nigga said he was married. What? That was 100% like, where do we draw the line with the disrespect to sell the book? Like, is there a line? Or they, they, are they just they like, are none. they whores from media to the point where it doesn't it's even like, matter? Say, it's say like, whatever. Listen, Throw yeah. me under the bus. Because we need a check. Gotta say. They're not I poor. can't say they we need a They I don't need the money. check. You know, it's funny. One of the other um, revelations that came out, there's a $300 million difference in their net worth between <laughs> Will and Jada. And unfortunately for, for, for Will, Jada convinced him to not sign a prenup. Oh, God. However, in Jada's defense, she, just, she, she still stands by she's never going to divorce Will. You know what I mean? Like, so it is what it is. So for whatever So you're just going to not divorce him, but you're going to just terrorize him through interviews for the rest of his life? Like, what is going on? Like... I what are we? The, what are we talking about? I, I'm not, listen. It's it's egregious either way. You know what I mean? She's a terrorist, bro. She's a terrorist at this point. She like she might as well be down with Hamas. Yeah, for real. <laughs> ah! She might as well be down with Hamas because that shit is crazy. What she's doing? Like it's like it's the disrespect knows no bounds. Yo, honestly, yo, she said Tupac tried to marry her from the chain gang, bro. No, no. Let's not even get. We not even get into the pocket. Let's stick. Let's stay on. <laughs> She said the nigga they haven't been married for seven years and Will slapped and like think what you just said. The nigga Will damn near flushed his career down the toilet in the middle of the Oscars behind a woman he was trying to respect and hold honor her. And she just, just disrespect him two years later. It's she, crazy. She popped out and said, I don't even know why he did all that. B. Yes. Yes. Imagine you throw your you throw your jersey over the yeah, I mean, you throw it all in the line over a shorty and she be like, Yo, I, I don't know why he did that shit. I don't that know nigga's bugging. That dumb shit. He's what? bugging. He I might, ain't going to lie, man. For my niggas, if we, we ride... Look at, we, do we, we look at Will different? Because I do. I do. I definitely look at Will different. But I'm still riding for Will. My niggas, we riding, we riding for Will. If you got a girlfriend, we cheating on her this week. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Cheat we riding on your girl for Will, this week, man. man. Cheat on your girl this week for Will. We, we doing cheating it for on Will. our girl for to. Will, man. Fuck Ladies, that, I'm man. sorry, but sorry, y'all got to feel something. Y'all got to feel the pain from this disrespect. Jada's throwing out, but there's no way we can allow this. As a male constituency, we got to die, bro. We got to cheat on y'all now. J. Cole just performed a song where he like, I, I want that Will and Jada love. And, the, and when he performed, he left that part Leave out. that out. He skipped, we don't he want that. that. We don't want that. That's that not what you want. nasty. And Word. it's so crazy that their love was a love that we all look up to until she decided to just burn it to the ground. Burned it. It's Why? like, when did it start? Like 2015 when the August Alcina shit came out? As soon as she got a Red Table talk show, shit was downhill. As soon as she got a little bit of attention for putting nah. her business out there, it was over with. This one it started, and we're going to get it right into the pup, the pup, the Tupac allegations and revelations that she keep promoting. Do you not remember about seven years ago when she had like a five year old, six year old Willow Smith? She posted a letter that Willow allegedly wrote to Tupac saying, Oh, wow. You? Please come back to us. My mommy really misses you. Like, that was the line for me. That would, that, right then, right there. And I'm like, All right, yo, we're going to have to draw something up. I'll set you out. I'm Will. I know I'm going to have some bigger shit on our way because this is insane. Bro, it's you so can't, ridiculous. Will can't be the dead nigga. It's like Tupac. She mentions Tupac every episode. She said no. he's his soulmate. She said Tupac. 
proposed Dog. to her when he was in Rikers. However, that's been debunked um, by did the you, internet. You know, the internet finds out everything. I love the internet, yo. The internet finds out everything. Did so, you see the compilation of, of her cringing up every time he tried to kiss her in public yes, and all that? It's crazy. What? Crunchy she cringes up. Let's get into one another thing she revealed. I was watching one of the clips because it's like, you know, Jada's dominating the headlines. And she, one of, during one of her birthday parties, Will Smith put together like a compilation video of the two of them, like of okay. their highlights. And he played it and she cursed them out. Like, I told you I don't want no movies played on my birthday. You doing the most, you doing too much. Like, she's told her nuts. Like, I can see a nigga doing like, like, yo, you doing too much. Like, this is too much. She told Will that and he put the energy he probably got fucking Steven Spielberg to direct the video. You know what I mean? Hey, Spielberg directed the romantic highlight video, dropped it on her birthday. She got an attitude. You know she what's ain't so, like it, and you, she cursed him out. You know what's so fucked up this about is life? This on record. Like, life is really fucked up, bro, because the women that... The women that really appreciate and would like love all that shit never get that nigga. Never. And then the bitch that doesn't give a fuck always gets the, the super heartfelt... Love you ass nigga. The horse. And then, yeah, then the shorties that really, then the, it's so, yeah, like the shorties that would super appreciate that type of shit end up with the scumbags that's not doing shit for them. It's either, the, it's always the whores or the, the bitches that's just hard on niggas that get the most. Like, me and a bro was just talking about, I was getting my hair cut, shot the eyes when we went to Atlanta, go holla at him. We was just talking about, like, you know, like back when you was in high school, everybody had like that one hole that everybody would run to. Like, long story short, Everybody ran in her shot. I could probably name 15 niggas that off the top of my head. We used to go crazy on a train. Now she's married, though. You know what I mean? And, like, the nigga is, like, you know, every time she posing, like, he's just going out his way for her. Like, you know what I mean? So, like you said, it's always the bitches that don't deserve it. Not to say she don't deserve it, but it's never who you think this yeah. should get. You know what I mean? Should get the Will Smith treatment. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Listen, she was a treat when she was younger. She deserves all the happiness she gets now, man. She put her time in. Shout Not out. Jada. Shout out to, you know what I mean? Shout out to you for, for getting a haircut and put a hat on immediately. I still got it. I still got it. I mean, I had to be right. I Yo, had to be on camera. Nigga, shout, nigga, shout out his barber and immediately put a hat on. My line is, is still it's crispy, man. Y'all see? I mean, he get me right every time. Oh, shit, He get me bro. right. But Jada is wilding. Nah, man. She I, keeps summoning up Tupac's ghost. Like, can he rest in peace yo, at all? Honestly, bro. It's like Tupac can't rest. He's had a, a very busy week. I can't believe at her big age. She's like, like, what the fuck? Yo, Tupac is in the news more than niggas that's alive in this past two weeks. Between Keefe D confessions. If I was a rapper, I'd be tight. I'd be so dead. Like, I'm getting still all battling with Pop. He getting all the headlines. Even they found this killer and Jada's talking about. I'm just waiting for Jada to be like, yo, we was fucking. Like, that's the next step. She done said everything else. They yo, were so amazed he proposed to her, yo, which was at debunked. At this point. Bro, I think she gonna fuck around and do like a stage show with the hologram of the nigga. Let the hologram blame her shit. She gonna let the hologram blame her shit on stage in front of everybody, bro. I would not be oh, surprised. God. I wouldn't like nothing surprising me more. Like she gonna let the hologram of Tupac I mean, blame her got shit, AI bro. Now. I wouldn't be surprised if she put like like, like an AI comic book out with like her and Pac, <laughs> like, and, like in love. Yeah, in love, like showing like scenes and some shit when they was younger, like because they got the technology to do that now. They just got to take an old picture, a uh, set it off Jada. Yo. Yeah, I mean, get Pac from Poetic Justice yeah. and put and it together. Yeah, make a whole thing. They got, his, they thing. got enough of his voice, you know what I'm saying? They got enough of her voice. It's in fucking sane. It's disgusting, The man. abuse needs to stop. Does, does Will not have any friends? Like, there's nobody like, yo, Will, don't don't stand for this. Like, the whatever book she's trying to sell, like you said, they don't need the breeze. So then, then it's like, so is it worth putting my like destroying my man's legacy, destroying your legacy? Because we don't look at Jada the same. Like yeah, I we don't, used to look at Jada like she's oh. now trying to do spin control with her moms and shit. You don't it's care. Like, you don't care. Like bro, like you're disgusting. Like yo, you're an emasculating demon, and we don't want you. And we don't want to talk to you anymore. We don't. And you know what? You know what? People never forget. Like when all this shit is going on. Like if I'm Jada and Willow, like I'm kind of tight. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just like. My dad's just getting shitting on left and right. The whole general public is shitting on my moms. So it's just like, it's no peace. You know what I'm saying? Every time I open my phone, it's like, my dad looks like a cuck. My mom's looks like a, a, a demonizing tree. who's still in, in love with Pac with no respect for the union. It's just all bad. Like People always forget about the kids when they just do this wild shit. Like The kids still matter, Yo, B. You seen that picture with Will and the kids and they was like, yo, look how happy they look without that fucking demon. Right, like this this is the yeah I mean they look mad happy without her, bro. Will and the kids, bro. It's it's Will it's step off with your family, bro. Fuck that. Bitch, bro. Yeah, step off, yo. 
Step off with the white joint from the Joker movies and shit. Yo, you know what I mean? she's married now. So oh yeah, so he missed his, he missed he that missed window. His window. He missed his window for his real true love. Yeah, man. Shit crazy. This shit is crazy. Bro. But I, I hope Will divorces and gets a black um, gets another black wife that he that loves him back. That'd be awesome. So just say minus the one fifty or whatever it's gonna cost. Fuck the money, Will. It's not important. It's not worth it. The money you gonna save. By keeping her in your household, it's not worth. It's the not peace worth of mind. the disrespect and embarrassment. It's not. It's not. It's just not. You could get some of your pride back and some of your respect back if you filed for divorce, like David yes. Miller did. Yes, I will one day respect Will Smith again as a man that controls his household. If he if he divorces that nasty work that resides in his his household, like pull you feel your me? pull your pants up, pause, strap. I mean, tighten your belt, tie your shoes tight. Divorce I, that divorce, shit. Divorce that shit, B. Like, it's like, and then it's just like, it's just nonstop with Jada. Like you said, like, Will Smith's defending her alopecia. She done came out and said, Pac had alopecia. He he would have been a spokesperson for him. Like, do we need to know that? Like, <laughs> like, are we, are we, did he want you, if he was keeping it a secret when he was alive, why would he want you to tell it now? You know what I'm saying? Like, obviously he didn't want nobody to know. So she's just, like I said, she's, this the disrespect and whatever the, the mouth throw up because that's what the throw up that she's spewing is just like there's no limit. She really tried to walk it back to make it seem like she didn't really cheat. Like you try to walk it back, walk back the timeline. Yeah, like yo, did. we've been separated forever, so I didn't really cheat when I got blamed by my son's friend, which was still insane and crazy. The fact that he even agreed to talk about that, like why was that even a thing? Like, like you got fucked by your son's friend. Gross. I would know if I was if that, if that was my I'd be so disgusted. Like, like let's never forget me? that. Like August Alcina was there because he's friends with Jaden, bro. Like you fucked your son's friend, bro. But again, this is like on Will what? Because the flag's been there again. The letter from his, the letter that his daughter allegedly wrote to Tupac. Crazy. The August Alcina red table talk. That was eight damn near seven eight years ago. Like, as soon as that shit came out, he was supposed to dub that. The fact that you even agreed to sit on her table, her podcast, and talk about that, like, how much more emasculating can it be? You know what I mean? And I don't want to hear, you know, I've, I've been seeing some talking points where people are like, well, we don't know what Will's been doing. He's had a whole other girlfriend. Nah. However, he's caring. He's being respectful with it. He's not yeah. oh, going to, and he had a book, too. He's not just using that as the talking points, like, oh, yeah, this and that. He's He's not publicly disrespecting a marriage. At the end and Jada of the day, is doing that, and it's it hurts me. My chest knows, hurts because she knows the only thing anybody cares about her whatsoever is related to him. Yeah, he don't gotta stoop to them bum ass levels because people actually care about this shit that's going on in his life. Yeah, he could talk about yeah, different shit, A-lister. and people is gonna be like, "Oh, be interested." Her only crutch is him, so she gotta talk about him for anybody to give a fuck. Yeah, nah, you're absolutely right. We don't, we don't need a book. Yeah, you know I mean, this is Independence Day. This is Men in Black. We're yeah. talking about. This is I Am Robot. When we'll, when we'll make a book or make some shit, is he he trying to inspire? He trying to uplift? He trying to let niggas see like, yo, you can make it too. Yeah, you know what I'm saying Jada, did, all she got is just a bunch of dirt and nonsense and nasty work. Disgusting. I mean, she had the Matrix. She should just play the cool and like try to part like that into like a little action career for herself. But you could have no. gave a son inspiration. You could have inspired the next young whatever, but instead you wanted to be nasty working yeah, at your you dirty laundry. You want to slander Will. I don't like it, honestly. I, it, it disgusts me. Dirty laundry is crazy. I hate it. You know what I mean? At these big ages. It's just really... Unf- and then it's like you said, like, what's the even the truth? Because again, it was debunked that when Tupac allegedly proposed to her, he was already engaged to his girlfriend. You know what I mean? Nothing's true, man. So I don't even like, it's like she just reaching, you know what I mean? Reaching for straws. Anything just to do she anything. mentioned about Tupac past whatever happened in Baltimore? That we know. Yeah. It could yeah. Be. <laughs> I can't, yeah. Outside of y'all high school shit, I'm not believing nothing. You know what I mean? And even that, I got to take with a grain of salt. It's like, shaky, B. It's shaky. Man. Yeah. Pray yeah, for though. Will. Yeah, pray for pray Will. Pray for Paris. Pray hopefully, for Will. Hopefully, yeah. Jada gets packed up. You know what I'm saying? Let's move Not on. like that, but packed up divorce. Yeah, we don't want her to like. Yeah, nah. I mean, yeah, I mean, take that out the app. If somebody wants to pack up, then I mean, that's on y'all. But oh my god, <laughs> this thing's crazy. <laughs> Will call your lawyer. Let's end this. Let's end this nonsense. Yeah, let's savage your self respect as a man. Yeah, you know I mean, what you want? We're, you we're, don't put too much work in. Yeah, be. We gonna move on because th- this is a. Let's There'll be another headline. Richard. There'll we'll be, be another discussing headline tomorrow. Be. Yeah, nah. She she got some more secrets to reveal. Stop. She not. It's gonna trust me. We'll be back at episode one forty two with an update. We're gonna do a Jada and Will update. Yeah, you know I mean, because this is getting out of hand. Yeah, it's like we had the Jamie Foxx watch. We're gonna have to do a Will and Jada joint because this is disgusting. 
Jamie Foxx kind of like eased his way back in. You know what I mean? I still don't know if it's him or not. I'm but. confused. I I seen that movie that um that about the attorney joint. I just I just I just didn't touch it. I was like, you know what? Yeah. I'm I, like, I don't even. I feel that? uncomfortable watching his movies now. Is it really him? I don't know. I don't know. Is it AI? I have no not, idea. Not Iverson. I have no idea. Let's move on, man. Let's, Let's touch. It. Your your girl's pregnant. Your wife is your, your wife is pregnant. Rich baby daddy. Rich hopefully, baby daddy. I, I don't. I don't think so. Cause the the nigga that keep posting her getting her, getting blamed and shit. These amateur sex videos. So I don't think it's any out on the ankle monitor. So I don't think it's a rich baby daddy. Um, I seen a lot of people in the comments kind of pissed off cause she's supposed to be going on tour, and now like I don't know how like. She's supposed to be like a turned up performer. She's pregnant and like she's showing. I don't know how that how that's gonna work. Higher background dancers, nigga. Same thing Young Miami did. <laughs> yeah, see, I, see, I missed that one. I Niggas forgot Carisha was pregnant on tour. I, I, yeah, I missed that the one. The blueprint already set. Yeah, Cardi did it. Carisha did it. Yeah. The blueprint already set. Get your pregnant ass out there, bitch. <laughs> you know what I mean, <laughs> you gonna have the background dancers shaking it all around you. Get your fat ass out there and rap the songs. It's gonna be what it is. Well, clearly she's living her rap. She's going raw. <laughs> like yeah, nigga's not she's, she's like niggas flat out blaming her shit. Blame she, her don't shit. Care. she don't care. She's the dirty work. She's the dirty yo, work. Yo, that nigga well, probably I just came up, home. bro. I got respect for sexy red because she is who she says she is. She been. She said she's some nasty work hood shit, and she living up to that shit every yeah. day of the week. Like for her to get like, like we not knocking pregnancy, bringing kids to the world, but you know. She could have obviously. I'm, I'm pretty sure label was like, maybe we could have waited a year or two. You know what I'm saying? We want to do some promo runs, but honestly, that might be good for the brand. Like people was Look, mad, but man. that might be like, yo, we could really relate to her. Yeah, you know I mean, she's some ghetto nasty work, unplanned pregnant, pregnancies, big belly, unplanned pregnancy out here. More for the hood, like you know what I mean, like, like mysterious baby father. Who the fuck knows? Like she's on brand. She's on brand. She's, she's on, on brand. brand. She's one hundred percent on brand. One hundred percent. One hundred percent on brand. Stand up for sexy red, man. <laughs> give her, give her um applause, man. Sexy <laughs> red is on brand. Let me find the joint, man. Let me find the joint, man. Because, like you said, raw and unplanned pregnancy is what she promotes. You hear me? <laughs> what are we doing here? She is who she is. So for all the concert goers that who got your tickets, still go to the show, man. You know what I mean? Let this is what you this is what you signed up for. Look. You never know when she's gonna get pregnant because she's those wrong. Man, if you're a sexy red concert ticket buyer, you've already signed up to watch pregnant bitches twerk. Like yeah. you're into that. Yeah. You're one of them kind of people. You're into the bullshit, bro. You love you're in it. the dirty feet on stage. With bare feet on bare stage. Bare feet performance, you're, dirty you're, foot you're, bottoms. You love it. You love that shit. You, you it, it does it. something to you. You're going to go tell people about the time you seen Sexy Red perform pregnant with the black foot, soots <laughs> on the foot. Yeah. You're going to love it. You're going you're gonna to take a picture of that. That's going to be like one of the standout. Like, a yo, highlight of your split. life. She's going to do splits pregnant. Be, pregnant. <laughs> be ready. Be prepared. With the red bandana around the belly. Yes. Woo woo to the kid. Yes. Woo woo the baby. Yes. Yes. Sexy Red, man. She's having a hell of a year, man. Shout, Shout out to her, man. man. Sexy Red's my nigga, man. Shout out to her, man. You know I mean? Like you said, it's all brand. It is what it is, man. Y'all just got to take it. This is this is the artist y'all signed up for. This is what y'all like. But speaking of artists and being on brand, your cousin Bow Wow, he went on a little rant this morning saying that we got to bring back artist development. It's like people are just getting hot off TikTok and they throwing them out to the wolves. Throwing them on stage, seeing a couple of people hating on my girl Ice Spice. Like, oh, she's one of them people he's talking about. Nonetheless, Ice Spice, it seemed like she seemingly responded because she said she likes to keep her lyrics simple so they don't go over people's heads and they stick more. I, I don't think, I, do I, Ice Spice did it? I don't count Ice Spice. Ice Spice is someone that got hot off TikTok, though. Okay. Ice Spice was lit in the street. Yeah. Before TikTok, before she was with TikTok sound. She was. She just had to look. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, look, you don't stand curly up. Frill, curly fro. But I do feel like when, whenever she got signed, whether it was, like, right before Munch or right after, they could have just worked with her on stage presence. Because I do feel like she lacks that when she performs. She's out there like she was slow, like a yeah, retarded bitch. Yeah, she's slow. Like, yeah, like, yes. Like, like she's nervous. Her? Like, yeah. remember when Beyonce, and we don't like talking about people kids, but when, like, I remember when I first seen Blue perform, people looked like, she looked a little nervous when she was dancing with her moms. You know what I mean? As opposed to, like, Show twenty five where it looked like all right now she getting the hang of it. Look man, the bright the lights is bright. You they know are. what I'm saying? Like it's not everybody just gonna pop out there and just be 
swinging nuts free from the first second. You know what I'm saying? Everybody like, can't be MC Hammer. <laughs> it don't, it, like sometimes, like like we it be time we be had we'll have people on here that might have never done an interview before or whatever and whatever. Like you, it takes a little bit. A nigga got to get warmed up. Like it takes a minute to feel comfortable when you in a public situation. The lights is bright, man. especially in front of people. Nah, and I, I I can see that with Ice Spice. Like I feel like when she performed, like she's like having stage fright. Yeah, I mean, she's just trying bit. to get through it. Like, yo, let me just collect my 50. Let me just go through the motions. Yeah, you know I mean, and then we're going to go from there. A little bit. You know what I'm saying? I don't knock it, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, people going, we in a situation, we in a society where dumbing your shit down gets you farther. Yeah. You know I'm not I'm mad at Ice Spice dumbing down her lyrics. Like, niggas is dumb these days. Niggas is barely reading. Things is drilled up. And like, honestly, I think she's capped out. It, how how smart can her shit get? Like, yeah, like she, you can she it? get much smarter? She's not smarter. Like, she's capping us go, down. I don't go to the Ice Spice for deep Nas Illmatic shit. Like, you go for Ice Spice for a little calm. You know what I'm saying? Cute she's vibes. not any smarter than this though. Like, she trying to much. She dumb it down. My nigga, you not dumb enough and down. This is what you do. This is where, where you at. Like, you might be smarter than the average drill rapper. Them niggas can't read. A lot of them. I ain't no disrespect to you drill niggas. You know you niggas can't read. Like, come on, stop it. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's be for real. So, compared to them, she might be. It's bad. You'd be surprised. These niggas out here, they stop going to school at seventh grade now. Like, yeah, it's, it's nasty crazy. work, bro. That's one, yeah. I mean, the overall um, just lack of importance for the black male going to school and receiving an education nowadays is pretty disgusting. It's out the window. It's especially, absolutely disgusting. Especially, like, in in all facets. Whether if you want to be a creative, it's like, well, I go to school, I can just go on YouTube, talk my shit. They got avenues for athletes now. If you're in high school, you can make money, you go to OTE. Yeah. And I ain't knocking it. OTE but... got an educational situation. Oh, they, they do? They, they, they got tutors, they got private school. Like, you know what I'm saying? They teach let them. Me... They still got to learn at OTE, though. Let me... Let me... Sorry, Durant and Pharrell, whoever's involved with that. I ain't gonna slander y'all. Shit, Bezos but, and them. Yeah, I mean, but Rich said y'all educating the students. Hopefully, they they learning a thing or two. Yeah, it's not just basketball. Like the G League joint is just basketball. <laughs> yeah, the G League joint is just, just basketball. basketball. Ignite is just straight basketball. But yeah. OTE, they 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 do school too. They give them some school. Stuff. Yeah. All right. Shout out to OTE. And I know that because I watched the documentary the other day on Amazon Prime. Shout out to the niggas. Okay, okay, copy. See, I had the inside information on you. <laughs> you did, you did. <laughs> you <laughs> did. You didn't give me that one. Had that old doc, but, they, they got a documentary. But yeah, back to Ice Spice. Like, I don't know what her, what, what she was scoring a Wonderlick test or what her IQ is. She's dumb. <laughs> but yeah, you know I mean, as far as her saying, she dubbing it down. Like like you said, I don't know how much more advanced it's going to get. Like, I don't, is she going to be Flo Millie or, one of, or Moretta or one of them? Maybe. But Never. She don't need to change her formula. It works for her. Like, I don't need her to be extra deep. Like, do what you do, B. Do make, you do. The, make sure the skirt is short. Get and, your, and be I, a baddie and show your panties, B. Yeah. She, fuck you talking about? She's showing her panties, 100K in the deli. Yeah. I, she, she needs a new move, though, like the bend over No, crouch. she don't. Oh, you don't want to add a new move to no, that? That's no. enough for you? Bend over, swipe this shit, bro. <laughs> Keep it rolling. <laughs> <laughs> what? You crazy? Add, no move. Maybe she can add something with a chest. No, man. No, <laughs> yeah. man. No new move. Ice Spice, man, it's not a new move or two on her, but no said he's good, man. He, he's good with the bend over no sway. No new move, B. He keep, says the, keep grabbing your shit from the back. He says the man. best dance since the Dirty Bird. Yeah, man, keep that <laughs> shit the rolling. the Macarena. Man. Yeah. Is, that, is it up there with the Macarena? Yeah, man, keep that shit rolling, Chicken man. Bend over, grab your shit, keep the, keep the fans engaged, man. That's what we want. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? But speaking of a of somebody else that's not really staying inside their wheelhouse, man, I want to talk about this West Side Gunner album that just dropped, B. Oh. Uh. Like I, I just want to say I'm gonna stand up. Shit is hey, trash. <laughs> Shit is trash. Trash shoulder. Trash rock. Bum juice. He blew it. Shit the bed. I can't believe he dropped that. What was he thinking? What was he listening to? Did he hear himself in the studio? Like what the? What was that, bro? Like. What were you thinking? Like, you just said, yo, I recorded a lot of Atlanta shit and I'm just going to put out an Atlanta fucking album. Like, what? Like, I don't understand what the thought process was. I don't understand why we're reaching outside of what got us here, B. Like, serve your audience, fam. Like, Super we serve. like what you do. We like certain things that you... Why'd you give us all these trap beats, all this trap shit, trap a whole this drama yelling on us? Like, yo, what? And you don't even flow great on it. You're not good at it. You're not mm -hmm. good at it, bro. I wouldn't if he was fired at it, I would I would I would be like, yo, the shit was right. No. Shit was trash, bro. Trash shoulder. Kitchen lights is fire. Um the one drink with, with the first drink with with, with Jid and um Conway's hard. I like Jalen Rose with Boldy. Don't like Jalen Rose. I'm you don't good. Like Jalen Rose? 
Nah, like you feel me? It was like, I want to say one of the two, that LL boot. I like Benny's verse oh, on the down, cool. on the South beat, but then yeah. after that, it gets shaky. Benny's verse on Casas was hard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like, I want to go, not foul, I got to look at the track list now, because it's like, it was so disgusting that I was like, yo, what the fuck was this, bro? I was like, I couldn't believe it. Because the intro had me so hyped. Yeah. When A.A. Rasheed was like, yo, we making exquisite metaphysical next level music and sound sonical music and all that. Then I turned the joint on. I'll start by saying this. Like, anytime I see an album and it has 23 tracks, you already, or anything over like 20 tracks, you're starting to scare me off top because. Honestly, like, if you can't get your point across in, like, 10 or 11, now I feel like you're dragging and it's going to be some filler. Like, it usually is. Like, I can't... It's rare that you f get a 20-track, like... It's a few double-dish joints, you know what I'm saying? But those are, like, life after death, immunity, shit like that. Like, speaker box, love below. Like, it's rare that you really going to give me 21 heaters, you know what I mean? Yeah, but a little filler is different than absolute bullshit. I was going to get to that. And then, like you said, super serve the audience. Like, we know... We checking in for West Side Gun. We want to hear you on the Alchemist. We want to hear you on the on Derringer beats. We want to hear you on Conductive beats. Like all this other shit, that ain't for you, bro. You all, you 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 literally recreated the lane for this whole situation, bro. Drake is jumped on. Drake is doing shit with Conductor, bro. Yes, this is you. Like you got it, bro. Just just be you. Live Sometimes in the niggas lane. be too creative for their own good, like. He, I feel, it's almost like West, like West Side Gun seen Drake do the conductor shit. He was like, all right, now I gotta go a completely whole different direction. Bro, nah, bro. I'm, on, I'm looking at the track list. Revenge of Flip's Leg with Ron Street was crazy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, which one? Babylon Bitch was crazy. You gotta shout out Stove God. He did his thing. Everything on that. with Stove God. Listen, was, man. Was Stove God is the one. Yeah. I don't Rookie care what nobody says. Stove God is the one. Rookie if I wanna yeah. hear anybody, like, he's the. Brick talk aficionado right now. Anybody talking about some dope? Anybody rapping about some dope stove? God got him it, bro. I say him and Spesh. Spesh stepped us up the last project. We I like about. that shit with Spesh and Conway. Spesh, fire. Spesh, Spesh, he shined. Spesh is hard. Spesh, see, I right, boom. Spesh rap, and when it comes to breaking down the work, Spesh is, Spesh is special. Yeah. He's different when it comes to break down the work talk. Remember what we say? I feel like, like Spesh is still active. He's still active. He has to be. There's no <laughs> way. He has it to be. It sounds like he's still active. But his break down the work talk is crazy. But Stone so God is like, yeah. Shit is like, like when you like made it, like, you like, made it a little that bit, whole, yeah. like, Stone God is like, he kind of looking in the rear view mirror at that. Like, give you a lot of right, recollection shit. Not breaking nothing down. Whole shit, like, Yo, when he said if nine nine hour flight to Paris, reminiscing about life, life was have, was a serious bar. You know about bar the I bar the year. You know what I felt? The plug told me when you take your time and move, move faster. faster. I ain't get it at first. I ain't get it at first. I understand that. As soon as he said that, I was like, yeah, that shit, that shit hit me. Be like, yeah, Stove rookie of the year. Stove is rookie of the year. He been a rookie for four years now. I feel like though, like when he, he gonna like, drop he like Ben Simmons. Tape? He like Ben Simmons. Drop for fucking. He Simmons. He like Ben Simmons, but he's still a rookie. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna clip this up and send it to Stove God. Like, yo, fam, you gonna drop a fucking tape or not? What are you doing? Like, how you gonna yeah, be we Westside like, little homie? You gonna be Westside little Stove feature God, nigga we forever? Waiting for you, and don't do the don't go left with the South shit. Just stick to the Derringers, the Alchemists, and the Conductors. Please. I feel like he just wanna be West little homie. Like, you just gonna be cool being a little homie featured man forever or what? Yeah, nah, he could, yeah, it's time for Stove to step out in the shadow. You know what I mean? Like, drop a project, it's drop been, an EP. It's been years now. Yeah. How long you gonna be West the little homie? The build up is there. Like, we're, we're, we're here, we're waiting we're here. now. Like, I'll, I'm gonna check in. I'm gonna check for your joy. Like, when I first heard it, I was like, I'm not gonna listen to an old Stove guy, but like you say, he's putting enough work over the years where it's like, all right, I'm ready reasonable for your solo drought. joint. You, reasonable drought is crazy. I ain't checking. I missed that one. His first tape, the tape he dropped in 2000 and fucking, what was oh, it, wait. six? six oh. Not six, but 16? Oh, like early on, like super, super Before dirty. Griselda. Before Griselda. I got to go back to that. It's serious? Fire. Uh, what? So now I'm even more pissed off that you told me that. Because like now it's like you said, like what is it to go give me an eight song joint? It's one of them situations where it's like it's like 12 songs or whatever on there. And like seven, eight of them is fire. Like what? Yeah. That. Don't, don't let the creative shit like put you in a box and feel like you just keep pushing your shit back. Like you said, like you going on these niggas projects and doing your thing. Like it's time, bro. Every time I hear Stove God in the past year or two, it's like been fire. It's standout. Yeah, it's, at some point, or we'll, we'll, 
You gonna be you gonna step out of the shadow or what, B? Nah, facts. Be the man, son. Be All the man. Drop. Yeah, we, that's another thing that stepped out of the shadows. We gonna, I wanna give, I, we, we gonna get him in the second half. We gonna come back and we gonna to get into the offset shit, B. I wanna get into the drip report, free. Oh, drip report. Talk about the flea, man. Yo, you already know. If you don't know, now you know. Every week, we do what's called the drip report on World Set, AKA the World Flea Report. Um, You see we extra flea today, you know what I'm saying? I had to bring out a little athletic jacket. These are, listen. Sports coach is always going to be wavy. For one, because they timeless. Who doesn't like sports? Unless, you know what I'm saying, the world blow up, you will always have a sports team. So get your favorite team. Go get you some paraphernalia. You know what I mean? Is that Mitchell and Ness? Nah, it's not Mitchell and Ness. It isn't Mitchell and Ness. I see the World Series patch. I felt like I was Mitchell. Nah, it's it's some new shit called Pro Life. I I just got put on. Remember we was in a group chat and Red sent it through? Oh, nah, see? Nah, see it, was them, it was one of them joints. See, I ain't gonna lie. I love Red, but everything he sent through, I just look over it. Cause yeah, when it if, it's fashion, if it's fashion-wise, it's because he's Spanish. Yeah, yeah. No disrespect, no my nigga. You know, you Spanish, so I just automatically assume you sent it through some country shit. But nah, like, they gotta, these niggas gotta deal with MLB. I had to lock in. I like the patchwork. I like the energy. I like that. I mean? But yeah, man, sports team apparel, man. Good good sports jacket. It's breaking shit out right now. It's 50 degrees where we at. Jacket season, man. It's that time. It's you that time. You could go Mitchell and Nash. You could go Starter. Get you a hat, get you, you know what I mean? Get situated, man. We're all fleet. You know what it is, man. We keeping it moving. Yeah, man. We coming back. Second half. Elite scumbaggery. We're going to talk about Offset album. We're going to talk about your man. Oh, yeah, what? <laughs> Antonio yeah, Brown man. got locked up. They, niggas just weird out here, man. Yeah. Your man, Miles Bridges, is back in a clink. Or oh, he got bailed out throwing pool, pool, pool balls at his bitch car. It's sick, man. Bag fumbling crazy, man. We coming back. You already know. Hello, my name is Sharik. What's up? What's up? What's going on, Sharik? How you? <laughs> what are you all set on? What are you done with? I'm honestly done with one the traffic and people living in Atlanta. <laughs> sick and of I'm hey, sick of time. Yes, and <laughs> artists and just people in in the creative industry not getting paid for yeah. what we're oh, man. for Dirty our work. Mackin. Yeah, they that, that's been going on since that's, the beginning of the time. Shit's crazy. It's, it's becoming outrageous point. So that's gotta fix it. Fix it. <laughs> All right, yeah, we back. We back. Second half. You already know. We kick off every second half with elite scumbaggery. And if you don't know what elite scumbaggery is, it's when somebody does some scumbag shit, but they pull it off in such an elite fashion that we got to shout them out. This week's elite scumbag of the week is a group, a, 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 a entity, a unit. The Broward County Sheriff's Department. Okay. 50 to 70 members of the Broward County Sheriff's Department was indicted and grabbed up for PPP loan fraud. Wait, wait, wait. I missed this one. Shout what? out to them, man. <laughs> Shout out to the, the man. sheriff's department. The did sheriff's PPP department. Fraud? The COs got locked up for PPP fraud. I'm not gonna lie. I just the only the reason why I chose to highlight this 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 week is because I just truly love when law when the, when the law man niggas try to commit crime and fail. I just <laughs> love that. Like I love that shit personally. Like it makes it, it makes my soul warm to see them niggas try to commit crime and try to give it up and fail and fall flat on their face and now they're going to be in the same jail where they try to where they was trying to stop niggas from getting soups and be a little home do a little corny shit y'all niggas face the music man face it shout out to y'all bozos man yeah. 70 deep ppp loan fraud he was a fucking up brown they tried to you 70 they say deep? miami broward county them niggas right up there atlanta and new york when it comes to that fraud shit <laughs> yeah 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 you know yeah they really, you they, know, the sheriff's the, the police is the biggest gang anyway. Yeah, so. they really claim them Florida niggas go a little harder than they ain't about the fraud. I, I mean, clearly, that's the word. I don't, I don't know no sheriff's department getting indicted in Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, you know I'm saying <laughs> they just want to slam niggas on their head. Oh, dang! Yeah, shout to them or not shout to them. Not right? shout to them, but I'm, I respect the fact they tried. I respect the energy, but I, but I love the fact they fell. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because y'all niggas is the COs, B. There's no way you about to come out here. And uphold the law upon niggas and then get right in the streets. There's no way. Fuck out of here. I'm happy y'all niggas fail. Yeah, man. Because y'all niggas out here upholding the law. You the dick, B. <laughs> like, <laughs> y'all making a career out putting niggas behind bars. Yeah. Man. Nah, they the, they the CEO. They not putting niggas behind there. Oh, but they, when like, niggas they, is they, behind there, they making their life a living hell. Yeah, they So yeah. fuck them guys. Yeah, happy y'all niggas fail. Fuck out of here, man. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> you feel me? I feel you. Uh, speaking of police and such, let's switch switch gears real quick. Your sister Carly Red got convicted. Yeah, Carly Red, Carly Russell. You know the one who uh faked her, her disappearance. And yeah, the come, Mississippi joint. Yeah, the Mississippi joint, and then come to find out, she was just mad about her nigga. Yeah. Um. Yeah. What's what's her what's her name, man? Just off Candace her, Owens. Candace Owens offered her eighteen thousand to tell us her whereabouts for forty eight hours when she had the whole United States of America up and on, up and on. And I would watch that interview because I want to know. I'm curious. Where did you hide out? What's the penalty? Like, are they about to really, like, slam her? I mean, they she said she's appealing the 18K fine and a year in jail. A year in jail is kind of a lot. Like, they sentence her? They saying she's facing up to a year. Or they, oh, did she's they... convicted, bitch. She was found guilty. That's wild found guilty and in crazy, law, kids. Bro. I ain't going to lie. She deserved probation at most. There's no way. Because if she really got a year, what day, what day is she supposed to turn herself in? That, that I don't know. I don't believe that year, B. You don't respect the year? I don't think it's going to happen. I think she's going to be able to get up out of that. Oh, yeah. I hope she gets, it's clearly she's going through some mental health shit. You know what I mean? Whatever yeah. it was. But again, I do want to know where you were at. So, Carly Russell, if you're listening, if you're watching, let us know. Take the 18K fine. Candace going to pay it. She got it. I'm going to be real. That look on her face, that look on her eye, she a little slow. Yeah. Carly's slow. She's a little slow. She's a little slow. I mean, she's from the live action. Yeah. What do you expect, bro? Like, what, I mean. Can they read down there? Just I mean, shit. a couple people can. I'm, I'm, I'm sure. You said two out of three, two out of ten. Yeah. You can read. A 30%, re- 30% reading rate. Reading rate. Yeah, seventh grade reading rate. Yeah, I, just, I was going to say eighth grade. I guess that was generous. Yeah, he was. <laughs> but she looks slow though. The look on her face is like, nah, she ain't all there. She don't know what's going on for real. The fact that they said she like went back and made sure she grabbed her takeout <laughs> when she left the car abandoned in the woods. She didn't leave the food. Yo, I, do you not cut all like niggas be hungry? Niggas hungry. Huh? She was like, yo, I'm about to. I got three niggas out of three be days. starving. <laughs> like, do you not cut for going to back and getting you know the takeout? Yeah, because she. In her mind, she was like, yo, I got at least a two to three day stakeout. <laughs> I got to be missing. So I got to eat. She had to eat. Yo, one guess. Yo. T- I'll give you two guesses. Where was she at? A nasty work motel. Well, she was at his house. <laughs> with the nigga? Actively with the nigga? <laughs> Actively with the nigga. Nah. I think he not jagged. I think he was over her. I think that's why she was gone. Nah, I think she I think she was at the Red Roof end. Nasty work. Motel 6, one of them joints. That's absolute nasty work, B. Absolute dance work. Um, fucked up relationships, disgruntled niggas. Yeah, man, AB. Yeah, he didn't pay child support. Man. What's wrong with niggas? Is he pop? Might be. So Might be. Fuck, how long's the last time he was in the league? Has it been about three? Well, two years, right? When when did time win the Super Bowl? Was that twenty one? It was know. the year after the pandemic. So twenty one is last time we seen AB active. Then he had like a year after that. Then he ran off the field. And we haven't seen him since. Yeah. <laughs> So. And he was signed a BS contract, little little minimums, yeah, little, little, little nasty yeah, work. Yeah, just prove it. Prove just to prove joints. yourself and contracts. Joints. Like, if you get the week 16, then we'll give you a quarter. You yeah. Know what I mean? 250 or something. Yeah, he was nasty work. I mean, child support been locking niggas up for years. It's just age old tell. Yeah. You know what I mean? About as old as time. Shit ain't nothing new. Shit get nasty. Getting tight, getting tight. Holding back on the funds for your seats is crazy, though. Is he holding back or can he just not afford 20000 a month? That's the real question. Because it's like, can you go back to, to court? Yeah, go back to court. Figure it out, AB. Go to your lawyer. You go, yeah, like you gotta. I'm sure you got an attorney. You go back in there that. with your new income. Like, yo, I'm not in the league no more. Get this shit together. He probably don't even know how to do that. Like, he dumb. He dumb. Oh man, he a dumb nigga. So he probably don't even know how to do that. His attorney, he don't got an attorney that cares about him. So like, they just raping the retainer. Yeah, yeah. Nah, nigga. Listen, man. I just was reading a story. I want to say it was Trevor Reeves or one of them. He was going through a situation, a child support situation, and like he had to like go back and renegotiate. Like the millions ain't coming in. I'm down to 10k a month. Yeah, yeah. I mean, off of real estate investments. So we're gonna have to re- like I can't pay you 20 a month if I'm only bringing in 10. Like that's not gonna work. Yeah, the the craziest in the world is for a millionaire to like deal with life because it's like everybody around you is literally just trying to get bread they're out trying of you. To get bread they're trying to get you. as much bread. They're trying to cut you up. They're trying to get as much piece of your pie as possible. You know what I'm saying? That's and possible. you don't have no real legitimate people around you that love you just want the best for you like you unconditional love is out the window yeah once you once you making millions that all that uncondi- if you don't got nobody in your life from before all that around you on a daily basis you it's a dub and then even that person is could still be compromised yeah it's yeah. nasty work it's nasty work ab i let your lawyer renegotiate yeah, i mean i'm sure his lawyer's probably jerking him that happens too 
That happens too. Yeah, it's just unfortunate. Like, but these child support should be like the amounts be so absurd anyway. Like you said, like when you a millionaire, it just seems like everybody's in your pocket. Niggas is digging, pause coming from every di- every which direction. It's just no good. It's just too much to look out for. You gotta look out for the niggas in your circle trying to steal. You gotta look out for the strangers trying to take from you. Like it's a lot, and I feel like the child support is like the biggest scam in American history. That and like having to sign a prenup and all that just because I don't want to be with you no more. Like shit is shit is. You know what I mean. I respect child. Way. I respect child support. I don't respect spousal support. I respect child support to a certain extent. Let's just say that, like, we have to, like, it has to be like established, like, like, how much does a kid really need? You know what I mean? Like, that's where I feel like, and obviously, I, when you're rich and you want your kid in private school, it's like, all right, but things like that has to be worked out. But like, if we're just talking about day to day clothes and food, like, it shouldn't be that much. It should be like you said. I feel like it should be like. Pay for the school, and if you're rich, if you want to send them to private, pay for that. Situate that. How y'all going to situate that? And the moms, these bitches ain't tripled. Like, y'all can get off your ass, too. Contribute. The fuck? If I'm not with you no more, and we made this baby 50-50, and you really took all the power once I nutted in you, and you decided to keep it, you got to contribute some shit, bro. And we're not together. You're able-bodied. You're not fucking retarded. That's where I'm at with it. Shout to my baby mother because one thing she did say she would never put me on child support. Yo, you know what's so crazy? Because I was definitely just about to ask if you was on papers, B. Mm-mm. Are you on that Yada Me interview or no? Nah? nah, but I do get like a I get an Apple Pay request every week. As you should. <laughs> yeah, I mean, as you should. I get an Apple Pay request every week. Shit pisses me off for daycare and food and all the other, you know, regular <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? So <sighs> I can't decline it. Yo, <laughs> she ain't on the stamps, huh? She not on the stamps? I don't know if you want to talk about that. <laughs> I know we know people who get them. It's like, you know what I mean? So, like, we not, we'll get into that later. The sis boom by stamps don't be like, don't be like the real joints, B. Like, <laughs> like, it ain't nothing like that certified joint coming every month in your, in your handle. Like, no no time full of it, you feel me? Yeah, nah. All that. I'm about to get on stamps, man. Yeah, all that finagle the stamp shit is like, yo, I'll, you know what I mean? The, the piece might cut off, some funny shit. Uh, I gotta pay, I still gotta pay this nigga a little sign. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, adds up, man. Stamps is in orbit. We'll just say that. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Stamps are in orbit. But still. Stamps is definitely in orbit. They, like, kids, they just, they just be little shit you don't think about. Like, they just cause money. Like, when you go out with them, like, that's a, that's, that's, you gotta feed yourself, you gotta feed them, you gotta make sure they entertain. Like, you know what I'm saying? The kid entertainment adds up. You know? Like, crazy. Shit is right. So, crazy. But yeah, shout out to the mother of my child. I'm not on child support as of right now. <laughs> episode 141. Who knows? Episode 250. It might be a different story. <laughs> I might be venting the rich. This shit might turn into the vent podcast. Like, yo, sick of this shit, man. Sick of this bitch. What's but, nah. what's what's the what's the once the second major deal go public, you're gonna be tight. She's gonna be on your back. The question's gonna get higher and higher. <laughs> That's all it is. It's gonna go from you know what I mean. Let you decline a request. Niggas be at the court steps. Be right nigga. at the courthouse. Rich be like, yo, we got an episode. I'm like, yo, I, I got summoned. <laughs> I got summoned, bro. <laughs> this is crazy. I got summoned. This is crazy. I got summoned, man. The fuck, man. But, yeah, sick of child support, man. Fuck out of here. Yo, we got to get into all set. Oh, we got, oh, yeah, we got it. Before we can get I gotta, it, we got to go do all set album, B. I got to stand feel? up. Where you at with it? Fire! Yo, all right, so I'm going to stand up. I, in my humble opinion, which I think is fact, Offset has just solidified himself as the greatest Migo. It's not even nothing to debate anymore. It's the, 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 the argument is done, cooked, finito. Offset album is riding. Better than Quavo, anything Quavo could ever create. Better than every, anything Take ever did. Offset new shit is crazy. You know what it is with Offset? He's really a, a combination of Quavo and Take, honestly, because he can give you a fire hook. You don't hear him dragging his mink through the whole joint? I'm the one out the group. I'm better without them niggas. These he's niggas stole my style. <laughs> da, 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 da. He talking greasy he's through the whole his project. He talking his talk. He talking his talk. Like, and like I said, he can give you a good hook and he can spit his shit. Whereas, you know, as Quavo was like, I just really need to hear your hooks. Like, Quavo is ballsless. Yeah. His balls are mediocre. And then take off, we was like, yo, God bless the dead. God bless the dead. You want to hear your bars, but like the hooks didn't really hit the same. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, when he, when he went solo, it, it didn't hit. Like, if I felt like when I was listening to Takeoff's album and Quavo's album, like, I was like, I'm missing something. Like, when I would hear a song, like, something else supposed to be on the Listen song. to the set album, I'm not missing a fucking thing. Like, oh, yeah, he's a certified artist. He's fire. Certified artist. He's fire. First What's your piece? favorite track on there? I'm pull it up. I, I don't remember the names yet. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I know the. 
I'm I know it's track three. I'll tell you right now. The joint with Don Tolliver. That yeah. was one of my favorite joints. Yeah. Worth it. I like the and I like the future joint, but the Don Tyler shout out to Don Tyler. I've been I've been a, a sneaky supporter of his for a little while. I ain't like the future joint. You ain't like the future joint? I, don't I feel like that was a trash throwaway verse and a trash throwaway con- song concept. I didn't like it. Okay, let me be real. This seemed like mad, like super rudimentary. Like I that like hop out the van too. shit. I didn't like that song either. I like, like blame it on set. Blame it on set is hard. Blame it on set is fire. Blame it on set is hard. Don't like you lie? It's super hard. Say my grace with Travis set. is crazy. Big Dog is fire. And again, I Miami, was, the, the Miami joint is crazy. It's Miami. He got shit on it, He got bro. shit on it. And again, I was scared because I seen 21 tracks, but I'm like, yo, like, I, listen, we got to give all set his kudos too. Like, he's good at picking beats. Like, production is bro, serious. Somewhere around the middle, like, he goes on a run, bro. It's like five, six, seven songs in a row. These joints just knocking, joint knocking, back, to back, like, to back to back to back to back to back. I'm like, oh, nah, he's going and crazy. And then I heard his shit in the Jeep. So it was like, I was catching all the 808s. That joint with no Nudy? Drums, that dope boy all joint? The snares. Like, what? Yeah. His bars is up. He's talking. His bars is up. His bars is his, up. He's talking. His bars is up, man. Yo, also, you did your thing. Eight I'm out of 10. I'm fucking with set on this, man. I give him eight out of 10. I'm going to give him a nine. I'm going to give him a nine, nine, bro. I'm fucking with this, bro. Set album is hard, bro. It's hard. It's I, better than even like it's not all just ignorance, neither. Like he talking about his life. He talking about deeper shit. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. in the in the it's there in the bars. It's it's musical. The bars is there. Everything is there. Like I I'm, I, I I can't say he missing it. He lacking anything, bro. Yeah. Like set really is a bona fide solo. He's a he's artist a good, right now. He's a he's a great artist. Like he got the charisma. He got everything. Like he got normal. He like almost like the total package. Like his shit is he here. in the fruition. He here. He here. He's here. He's, here. He's arrived. I mean, I'm standing up for set, bro. I, I I'm not here for no set slender at this point. Like nah. musically, his shit is fire. Like, what are we talking about? It's like I could tell he's been working on his craft. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like he's taking his shit serious. Like again, next to Jada, his promo album rollout was fire. Like yeah. he was in all the right spots. Like he came out that little beef he had with Nikki's husband. Like he just looked like them niggas was broken, hating. You know what I mean? Everything. He's just in a positive news story for Offset right now. Set is winning right now. He did his thing on the Bobby episode, made her look dumb, fronted on her. I love that. I you know I hate that. her. Yeah, exactly. You know I can't stand Bobby. So What's he, her name? He came in on the Bobby album, whatever her name is. Interview sharp. Let her know, like yo, relax, sis. You think you gonna come and and pillage the culture and niggas not gonna shit on you? Like nah, sorry. Hold on, free and then. Real quick, right? So, boom. I don't know if you peep, right? Um, Southside and uh, G Herbo just did Funny Marco, Funny Marco podcast, right? Mm-hmm. And Streets are saying they violated. Did you see? Did you see that? Nah. They was like, they was. You know how Funny Marco be like having his little, little awkward shit or whatever, whatever. That's yeah. like his stick or whatever. They was like kind of just talking to him, super greasy, saying he was waxing, show his ass, like niggas. Funny Marco said they fucked his, they broke his watch man, like watch like 30K. They, did, they was doing dumb shit, throwing his shit, like throwing shit Why around. Why was they violated? What was that about? I don't know, but I just wanna I just wanna say like like how like how would you act how would you act if niggas pulled up on our on our platform playing crazy? Like what would you how would you react to that? Like You know, it's funny that you said that, because there's been times where I be thinking like, I know between the way some of the shit I say and definitely you, because you definitely talk that spicy shit. What's going to happen, like, if one of the, we have a guest on it, like, they try to get physical, we got to put hands on somebody, like, it gets crazy, because it's certain shit we just not going for, but I feel like, you know, in life, people know who to play with, you know what I'm saying? I that think niggas too. gonna respect the energy, you know what I mean? Like, that don't come too. out here trying to talk crazy, you know what I mean? Because you're not going for it, we're going to slander you. I'm like, yo, my nigga, stop playing like niggas that hit your baby moms, like, fuck out of here. Like, not just, if we can go tit for tat, like, we're going to try to keep it professional, but... You're not going to get your one up. Don't come up here trying to feel like you're going to get points off us. You know what I mean? Like, just be cool. Because we cool. We're not trying to do the dry human corny shit. You know what yeah. I mean? We, just, we trying Fact. to get concise information and answers for your listeners and for our fans. And support Fact. If you come on, on World Set. So, you ask me that, like, I don't think we got to worry about that because with this disclaimer, hopefully people see, like, we're not going for that. We and play with niggas every now and then. We play with niggas every now and then. Yeah. But you already know you're pulling up. You're supposed to come here with a sense of humor. Don't get crazy. Yeah. Exactly. Because I mean, I'm going to snuff you and free going to follow. And, and, and we've had On camera. With, and we're going to put it out. We're going to put the snuff of you on the, on, in the mid-episode. We're oh, not yeah. editing it I, out. We're gonna, that's how we're going to go viral. Like, we're going to have to beat up a, <laughs> beat up a rapper. <laughs> and that's just, just going to be it. You know what I mean? Like, so just keep it calm, man. And it's mad. 
it's 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 all types of artillery around, so don't get crazy. You know what I mean? Like niggas be pulling up like yo, damn, like <laughs> and we not I'm not no gangster, we not performing. I'm a self defender, but we men first. So be oh, respectful. That's oh, what we have. Oh God, you bro. Know what I mean? I'm a man first. That's it. Oh God, bro. Oh God. That's hilarious, man. You, you, you gonna get into the sports? Should we tap in? Talk some sports, man. Seen Damon Giannis play. Not um, happy? Are you excited? Kinda. Dame was about three to for ten. Listen, I feel like Dame's overrated. Can I say that? I'm ready to say that. Um, Dame's overrated. Yeah, he is. <laughs> like, I like the like. It looks good. It looks good on paper. Like, I still have to see more. Like, Giannis, he's still the the Greek freak, but I don't see a jump shot yet. Dame still goes, he could go nine for 13, but he could go, he got a lot of them two for 12 nights mixed in there. I'm going to be real. Like, I seen Dame live action. I wasn't impressed. Exactly. I'm going to be real. Like, like you said. Yeah, guard nobody. His whole shit is based upon, is he going to get hot or not? Yeah, is he going to get hot? If he gets hot, holy baby. You feel me? But his game is like, yo, do I want to watch a nigga take mad nasty work 30 foot Jump shots, I, I, like, that's not conducive to winning basketball, fam. Dame, if you don't get hot, you not win. Like, it's, nah, I don't want to see that. Dame Lillard is not a floor raiser. And what I mean by that, like, Drew Doesn't Holl- make people better. Yeah, he doesn't. It's like, he's going to get his shit off, and what, however that contributes to the team, it is what it is. Yeah, I mean, it usually doesn't contribute that much winning because he hasn't been to the finals yet. Drew Holiday, like, he does so much, you know, seeing within the game and getting niggas involved, defending, like, he, like, he elevates, I won't say he just elevates, like, the players, but, like, the team. Like, he elevates the team more so more than me because I feel like it's Dame, like you said. If he not hot, it's quiet. If Drew not hot, he's still locking shit down. You know what I mean? Drew does a lot, bro. He does Drew, a lot, B. Drew is a champion for a reason, bro. Exactly. Like, 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 let's not get crazy, bro. Like, when I think of Drew, I think of niggas like Rondo, like, niggas that just contribute in all facets of the game. You know what I mean? They going to make the smart defensive play exactly. a key key stop. Like, Drew is good for a key stop. Rondo good for a key assist. Uh-huh. Dame, shit, like you said, it's just, is he going to go Pull for from 30, is he going to go in or not? That's, That's all he it. got. That's it, B. And it's not that efficient. Like, Dame's only shot over 40 from three one time in his career. My man Kyrie Irving did it pause seven times. This is so, you know what I mean? Like, like it's just he just you're just a nigga with a monster green light. Yeah, you got a you super got a, green you light. You got a monster, bro. monster green light, and you don't really gotta really pass it around too much. Who's the I don't Jordan Poole can average 30 on in this in, on this Wizards team, as far as I'm concerned. Like I feel like he has the same amount. I'm not gonna say he has the talent level of Dane, but with the right green light, he could average 30. Like you said, like a lot of shit with the NBA. He was like, averaging 20 something without with, Stefano. With, and, and you was the fourth option, third yeah. option. Exactly. No, with that, that year where Stefano wasn't playing, that it was hurt. Oh, he yeah, averaged yeah, 20 he, something that yeah, year. Facts. And that was only like his second year in the league. And now he feel like he got something to prove. Yeah. So like he gonna get his shit off. I like the Celtics more. Like I watched them during the preseason. I like how they look like. They look serious. Yo, what? Celtics are some they different look like shit, bro. They got, they got some shit, you, got, you talking about Tatum, Brown, Paul Zingas. <laughs> And, 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 and Al Hoff? Nigga said Porzingis, as soon as he put on the KK, KK on the Celtics jersey, that brought all his powers back. You yeah. Know I mean? For sure. So no, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. Let, let's be real. When a white man wears a Celtics jersey, they get a whole nother level of uh, uh, energy. And, like, a white man in a, a Celtics bigger. jersey is like niggas playing at Chris Brinkley Gym in the offseason. Like, yo, everybody's yeah, a 99 in this gym. Nice. When a gym. white man put a Celtics jersey on, it gets crazy. It's like Super Saiyan 1. It like gets nigga crazy, bro. Saying. That's what this it's like. yellow hair when a white man goes Celtics jersey. I was looking at Paul Zingas like, oh, this is the nigga from the Knicks. This is the unicorn. That's what it looked like. He's bad. He looked like he got look, he looks spry. He don't got be some... fooled though. But like this is because the Wizards don't just don't get no TV time. He killed last year. Nah, he did. I was I was going to Paul Zingas heavy in fantasy. Don't yeah, Paul Zingas was blacking last year. Don't be fooled. But the only thing with we holding out with Paul Zingas that I'm gonna have some reservations about injury is bug injury history. Yeah. Same thing with your cousin. Quick segue to football. Christian McCaffrey. He's hurt already. Yeah, you know I mean, he got he's, hurt. Yeah, he got hurt yesterday. That's why they lost. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the Bengals defense is serious. When I seen that spread, I was like, "There's no fucking way they're gonna win it. They're gonna, they're gonna cover this spread. Fifteen point spread. It was giving away. This was giving away money. No, no, it was nine. It was it a was nine, nine point. It was like nine, it was a nine, nine, point nine or twelve. Or was the Jet spread was twelve? So I think it was no, nine. The Jet spread half. was six. Was it only six? Yeah, the Jet spread was six. I remember like yesterday. The Eagles look I lost shaky. my breach. The Eagles look a little shaky. Jalen Hurts looks shaky. The Eagles do not look shaky. Because nah, AJ Brown was busting their ass. What? He's he's a monster. What is Jalen? Now I gotta have a dad conversation with this nigga. Is what are you Jaylen? looking at? I don't know. What do you see? Who's what better are we right doing? now? Jalen or Dak? Huh? Who's better right now, Jalen or Dak? It's always Jalen. Chill. It's still Jalen. It's always Jalen. 
Cause I right, at the end of the day, they both but both of them I don't know what the fuck they're looking at. But at least at least Jalen can run. Jalen can at least run away from a nigga. Dak is just a sitting duck. <laughs> He's fooled. They play tonight. It's gonna be nasty for y'all niggas. Who y'all play? The Mr. Herbert and them niggas. Oh yeah, they're gonna make a movie out of y'all. The roller coaster. Y'all don't got digs. They're gonna make a movie out of y'all. The roller coaster ride knows that Josh Allen, they almost blew it. They should have lost yesterday. Because my man Tyrod Taylor outplayed Josh Allen. It was just nasty Brian Dable. I'm going to get into that until my world set. But, yeah, they blew that game. They should have won. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was a 15-point spread. That spread was crazy. I'm like, oh, wow. Like, no respect. None. None at all. They grown men. They still men. They, yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they still got pride. <laughs> like, they're still, like, you know what I mean? They're still professionals. What the fuck? Like that shit was crazy. Yo, yeah, facts. Like, and, and then with and, and like, again, like I said, the roller coaster ride, known as Josh Allen. Like I don't know what I'm gonna get. Like he'll throw for three hundred, three touches. And niggas is like, yeah, he's him. He's right there with Patrick. And then he'll do some nasty work shit against the Giants defense. Like he's never right there with Patrick. Don't you don't I? Nah, I never crazy. said that. But I'm talking about like the internet. Be like, yo, they they be ready to elevate him. Like yo, he's one of them ones. I like him, but he's not there with Patrick. Nah, he's not. He's not. He's too inconsistent. And yeah. quiet as this cat, as nasty as Patrick has been, them niggas is five and one. They number one in AFC right now. Has Patrick been nasty or has he's niggas been just... calm? He he hasn't been nasty, but he's been calm. His it, defense has been they've has been showing he up. Personally, been calm or is niggas dropping his passes? A little bit of both because he's throwing picks. He's been, th he's been th you know what I mean, he's been a little you know what I mean reckless with the football. Pat going to try some shit. He's been trying when the, some when shit. the receivers is better, they stop the they stop the picks. One thing I will say, Pat going to try some shit. But when you really need him in the fourth, when it's crunch time, he's gonna show up. He's gonna make that back breaking pause, third ground, third third down conversion. That's gonna be like, oh my god, we're still on the field. He's like, Pat, he's Pat. Lamar looked decent. His receivers finally caught the fucking ball this week. Shit was crazy. It's it like every week them niggas is in a dog fight with teams they not supposed to be in a dog fight in. But didn't they lose? Nah, they won. They was in London. They beat the Titans. Oh, I'm thinking about last week they lost to the Steelers. I'm tripping. Yeah, it was crazy at the end because I'm sitting there betting on the under, and I'm like, "Yo, the Titans is about to fucking tie this shit up. Like, what's going on here?" It was nothing but like that wasn't that sack at the end. They finally benched Tannehill. Thank God. The Purdy when Sandy run is over too. I just want to go back to that. He was acting like he was. What was just last week? We asked me about Purdy. I said, "Fuck out of here." You don't believe it. Great yet. white hype. Great white hype. Yes. Stop it. Stop it. Come on, I don't man. Want to hear lost his weapons like. Listen, man, like he's not him. He can't extend plays. Like if you need him to win the game, it's not gonna happen. Like it's if the niggas happen. can't give you 60, 70 yards after the catch, it's quiet. He's you know good I mean? for not fucking he's, up. He's Trent, a little better Trent Dilfer. Yeah, you know what I mean, and that's okay. Sometimes, but like let's stop with the elite quarterback talk. It's disrespectful. Disrespectful to real quarterbacks. To real B. niggas. There's only like two elite niggas be in the league. It's Patrick, and then it's one week is Lamar, one week is Josh. You know what I mean? More than two elite niggas, bro. Don't be disrespectful. I don't mean Burrow. You want to put Burrow? He's you know I'm going to put Joseph in there. You know I'm going to put Joseph in there. He's going to go with Joey. <laughs> Trevor Lawrence, man, he's coming around. He's looking like he's right like there. Trevor. He's on the cusp. But he didn't He didn't catch it as quick as I thought he would, but he's still, he's valid. He's though. valid. He's going to be valid. He's, he's, valid. he's valid. Like, he's valid. you can tell, he's like. like he's like 88 right now. Yeah. yeah. You can tell, like, yo, he's going to be fine. He's, he's not one of them it. niggas just yet, but just he's going to be fine. He's right there. He's going to be fine. He's valid. You got Calvin Ridley. He's sturdy right now. Yeah, nah. But, um. Going to wrap this joint up? I was just going to say that. You know, we're all set. We got a special segment called We're All Set. It's our favorite joint. We were talking about we not jacking no more. We're we'll dubbing. We're going to do eyes and head. And we're going, when we pop, we're going to pop out outside and get and get some more We're All Sets from the, from the crowd outside and all that at the event and all that. Um, I'm going to start it up. I'm going to set on uh, national media coverage, man. I'm going to set on every, I'm going to set on all the news, the news joints out here trying to pump, trying to pump this Israel shit and try to pump this like. I'm not anti, I don't even got a side, but to just pump one side of some shit where you know there's more than one thing going on is ridiculous, bro. Ridiculous. I can't get with that. I'm I'm all, I'm all set on national media. You know what I'm saying? I'm all set. And I'm all set on all these niggas that's kowtowing to the the pressure that they getting from their they, they handlers and kowtowing and saying making statements and, and, and things of that nature, bro. Right. Like, stop tucking your tail, black yeah. man. You feel me, black man? Stop tucking your tail, bro. Like at the end of the day, like stop putting the, that that check you getting over every little uh, over every little thing inside you, bro. That's crazy, black man. Fuck is wrong with you? Huh. What you all set on free? You know, when you just started talking, I think I might have like switched my shit, but I'm gonna I'm gonna stay on. I'm gonna stay with my how I was feeling. Um, I'm all set on Colorado for the week. Oh my god! <laughs> 
I'm all set on yo know, Dion. I don't know what y'all did. Or and what he got the nerve to just be screaming at the. Oh, now you missed the blame the defense, fam. Take some blame, yo. That niggas was up 29-0 at the half. I turned the game off. I went outside and I checked my phone an hour later and I seen y'all niggas. Y'all let them come back and beat y'all in overtime. I was an egregious, disgusting loss. Hopefully, you only need about six or seven games. Y'all can still make a bowl game, but that was crazy. Look, Yo, man. I need better. I, I still support y'all, but I'm all set on y'all for the week, man. I got respect. I got love. Yeah, it's like I got love and respect for Prime, bro. But like, it's the, it's in these moments where a nigga gotta be like, "Yo, I didn't have him. I I, I fucked up. I ain't had him ready." Yeah. So, so like, like you just trying to throw. Like, I'm not feeling him throwing his own defense under the bus when it's like, bro. You fucked up. I don't care. Yeah. You did something wrong. Like you you wasn't right, bro. There's no yeah. way. To, for 30 ball? Come back from a 30 ball. It's your fault. Prime, eat that. Wear that on the chin. Don't blame your little you you got children playing for Man, you, champ. I outscored like 36 to 7 in the second half. Like it's just gross. We're not gonna throw the kids under the bus, Prime. You failed as a coach. Eat that, wear that, come back stronger. We're not gonna throw the kids under the bus, bro. Yeah, nah. That was that was a nasty loss, man. Or but look, man, we're all set. Revolutionize Hollywood. We here. It's collab. Special episode. We appreciate y'all. We're going to keep the fire content coming. Yo, you know the vibe. the fire collabs coming, man. Make sure y'all tap in. Subscribe. I'm about to pop out. I'm about to go get a plate of food before we start <laughs> interviewing yeah. everybody else. All day, man. We're going to see what everybody else is all set on out in the field, man. Holla at us. You already Holla. know. Like, subscribe. Thanks for being here once again. Holla. Back. Now you know we're all set. We here every week at the end of every episode. We do a segment called We're All Set. We let y'all know what we not feeling, what we not jacking anymore. We got a special guest at the Rebel House. Let them know who you are. Introduce yourself. Black Hollywood goddess Brie. Okay. Ow, What's ow, up, ow. Brie? Hi. Ow, ow, ow. Brie, what you all set on? Talk to us. What you, what you, not not what you want to pack up? What you want to get rid of? Wanna... I really want to get rid of these burger ass niggas. Yeah, here it go. I really do. The, hobo, the hobosexuals? The, the hobosexuals, niggas. them, 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 we not even worried about them. You know what okay, I'm saying? Yeah, they, I'm they, just... they, they on the corner somewhere. We not on there. <laughs> I'm worried about the burger ass niggas that think they really that. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. They're really a fucking corn. You really a corn boy. Really a corn. Just because you made a couple dollars mean you like that. Like you're not. You're not him. So I'm actually <laughs> all set on that. <laughs> We all set on that too. Money don't make you not cool. Bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And you're not cool. on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's Straight like you. that. Straight like that. So right yeah, on. I'm really cool off them. What else? I'm cool off. She okay. Got, okay. Yeah, she got energy. Let's go. Let's I'm not gonna goes. lie. What else you got for? Us? I am really cool off the bitches that want a man, they but they man. fucking up the dating pool for all the, everybody else. Well, hold up. What you mean though? Like they got a man already, but they outside hollering at niggas? No, meaning they say that they want a husband, they say they want a man for real, but they then they, then all They're these, they yeah, all them. these different criteria yeah. and shit like that for a good man, like yeah. that's, that's out. So I'm really cool, man, off, I'm really cool off them. Off of, you eating cool nigga dicks that you had a cool man, good man. That's, that's crazy. crazy. That's crazy, That's right? crazy. That's crazy. Like Jada Pinkett. That's broke, crazy. Now you broke the good man heart and now, <laughs> yeah. and now the good woman that wanted the good man, the good man ain't good no more. Same shit. It's over with. Um, what else am I yeah, all set on? Let's go. You got um, I'm really now, okay. This one I'm really all set on. <laughs> I'm actually all set. This is for you 50 plus. Oh shit. I'm, I'm actually really all, all set. Ages almost on you niggas <laughs> trying to date 20 year olds. Like I am. I'm cool just because you know you don't got nothing to say to that girl. Well, you know, it? you, you ain't got like nothing. Young like, me. You mean like a serious relationship or trying to blame a young chick cheeks? Like, blame your young cheeks well, or like a serious relationship? First of all, niggas will have a daughter that age, so that's actually that's crazy. That's crazy, right? That's crazy, but yeah. I'm actually talking about the relationship. It's giving grandpa. But it ain't your daughter, And granddaughter. It's giving... Grandpa, but it's not your daughter. And granddaughter. granddaughter. They got an only date joint that's 50? Well, like, the real question is why haven't you found your one yet? I mean, man, every, maybe, everybody got a different situation. Already, what are you talking about? Like, don't do that. No, 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 no. <laughs> like, hold on. Nigga might be three times before. You see what we're going through? Like, this shit crazy out here. Three times before. So I'm just three saying, times every times situation three is times different. He been through love a couple times already. That's crazy. Now, when, 
You know what else? What I'm, all set, Yo, what I'm all set. I'm all set. I'm all set on people not us. taking accountability <laughs> for their actions. Take accountability, people. Why aren't you? Yo, take Why aren't you? You know good and well. Nah, you only lie. dated him because you hungry. Oh, oh, I ain't gonna lie. 50 plus you trying know to wipe good and well. Crazy. You don't want her. You just need an itch scratch. I, I need you to take accountability, and I need you to I need you to not be a child all the way. I need you to be grown. So that's what I'm all set on. She real. You got, you got real deep to that. Yeah, that's what did. I'm all you set real, You had some bones to pick. Yeah. You got a couple old niggas in your, in your phone. Y'all ask me what I'm all set on. This is what I'm niggas, all set. You got a couple old niggas in your phone, and you're sick of this shit. I see. No, I see no, 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 no. Well, we love the salt and peppers. We do. We do. Salt <laughs> and peppers look nice. Like, so, I'm mean, not. I'm together. not. I just want you to take accountability, and I want you to do better, and I want you to find a wife. My grandfather was 77. He's still hitting joints in their 30s. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, what? That's actually crazy. That's actually crazy. Is it crazy for him or crazy for them? For the 30 year old? They pulling up. Okay, the last thing. The last thing. She got one more. I'm actually all set on females saying how much they niggas don't love them after a while in marriage, but you ain't doing what you're supposed to be doing. There we go. I'm actually am also on that. I'm not jacking it. Okay. But we're gonna flip it. We're gonna flip it. Actually, I'm also all set on the niggas that think that just because they go out to work, that they that they really just playing God. They, but you're not. You're actually not. It actually takes a partnership, and it actually takes another person to help you do that. Okay. So, yeah, that's my spiel. Going out, making the, going out and making the bread ain't everything. That's yeah, right. that ain't everything. That's real. Yeah. Damn, she had to get off her she chest. She did. She did. I was ready to give you my therapist I appreciate number. her. Yeah. <laughs> don't do that. I, I don't need no therapist. Shit. I take accountability. Oh, there you go. She got. She got good self awareness. Like she has to. The way she just do it. I have to. She got great yeah, self awareness. I have to. I know she do. I have to. She got some self awareness. And so that's what I'm gonna sit on. Sure. Keep right. it G. Hey, my name is Megan Crumble. Um, and what I'm all set on is um, the negative female representation in the music industry. Talking about sexy right? Well, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna single single anybody out, but I'm tired of a lot of negative female representation in the industry. Not, not just one particular person, but um, especially how black women are represented. That's what I'm all set on. Okay. Let them know. Introduce yourself. Yo. Tell them what you're all set on. My name is Yende Sings. I'm all set on black positivity. I want to shout out to, to my brothers right here doing this wonderful thing with We're All Set Podcast. I just followed. I look forward to um, to taking part in this support this movement. And we need to also support all of our black men that are doing great things in the community. These guys are amazing. All, all real. The energy's been real. We appreciate that. So, and I'm all set on that. <laughs>